Hey guys, this is Dave. I thought I'd show you my new discharge station that I set up for discharging my 12 volt batteries. Uh, this is for the uh, Bedini Yahoo users group. Uh, the 20 runs that I'm going to be doing, I need to have a controlled discharge and a controlled charge rate that I uh, keep track of uh, with an Excel file that they provide. And uh, I didn't realize how important it was, but discharging is just as important as charging the batteries. You want to do it correctly or you can you know, damage the battery. So uh, I was doing some research and checking out what the users group uh, required. And like for this battery, it's a uh, 5 amp hour battery. They say not to discharge it at a rate more than 250 milliamps so you don't damage it. And uh, I was thinking what I could do about that. Um, I could get some resistors and uh, you know some high wattage resistors and put them in line with the battery and monitor it that way with the uh, with the amp hour, the uh, amp meter there. And I thought, you know, if the battery is being drained and it's going down in voltage, so is the current. It's not going to drain at a constant current rate throughout the whole cycle. And I thought I'd want to try something a little more um, precise as far as discharging this. So uh, I had a couple of these Lux Drive buck pucks. They're a, a current regulator, mostly used for high output LEDs, which I play around with too. So. I thought I would use this buck puck to control the just discharge rate of the battery and I've got it locked in right at 250 milliamps and the way I did that kind of took me two uh, different ways of doing it but um, the buck puck has uh, two lines set up for uh, varying the current at a constant current rate so I kind of dialed it in grossly with some uh, with a variable resistor. I got it close and then measured out the ohmage and soldered some resistors on it. I don't know if you can see that back there. I've got it covered with heat shrink tape. So that got me in grossly. It was about 300 milliamps. And then uh, I discovered I had an old fan. It's a scroll cage uh, CPU fan that had a variable uh, resistor on there to vary the, sp the speed of the fan and so I played with that a little bit and I was able to dial it down so I'm right on 250 milliamps as far as the drain goes and it's a constant current drain so as the voltage decreases on the battery I will keep a constant 250 milliamp drain on it which uh, I thought would be better for my test so I kind of like that idea and, and I'm going to try it out and see how it works. Um, but the fan is kind of cool. Uh, not only does it look nice, but uh, it does a good job at draining the power close to what I wanted it at. And uh, so I've got it on there right now. I've had it on for a while. And I'm going to take it down to 12.2 volts, which is what the requirements are. Uh, you don't want to take it down too much past that because, again, it could start damaging the battery. So this is going to be my station for uh, discharging. I can monitor my, my current, and I can monitor the voltage, and I know I'll have a constant drain throughout the cycle, which uh, I, I think might be a good way to do this. And uh, thought I'd record this for the users group, show them what I'm doing, and then after it gets down to 12.2 volts, I'm gonna let it rest for, let the battery rest for at least two hours, two to five hours and then I'll start my charge cycle and I'll be recording this on the Excel file and I'll uh, show you that at the beginning of the video probably you'll see it and uh, I'm going to start filling it in and do my 20 cycles and I think I've got a good setup here I've used uh, all good connectors that are soldered to the wire and even on my setup on uh, my wheel I've put all connectors, good connectors with uh, soldered, all soldered together and I just got to be careful they don't short out but I've got them spaced out pretty well so no more uh, alligator clips, no more just easy connections, I've got it all soldered and hardwired when I use it so I think that'll be a good setup and uh, I'm on my way starting the tests and I think I've got a good setup for it so I'm going to 
try and get consistent data and see how this does. So thought I'd show you my setup. It's pretty neat. Again, I'm having fun. And that's what this is all about. So thanks for watching and talk to you guys later. Dave out.